Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I am so, so, so excited for today's video because I'm going to show y'all my nighttime skincare routine. Yes, yes. I kid you not, I have gotten a request to do my skincare routine and show all of my products and how I've healed my acne and all of this stuff on my Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. All of my platforms that I post on almost every single day. It's insane. You guys want to know all of my little skincare secrets so bad and so I'm just so excited to show you guys finally. And the reason why I've waited so long to show y'all all of my skincare routine is because for the last few months I have been trying out all of these different products, trying to see what works best on my skin in order to recommend it to you guys. So some products have made me break out, some products have made my skin look even better. I just wanted to have the perfect lineup of products in order to show you guys and recommend. A little fun fact about me is that I'm actually a huge skincare person. I have always loved anything that had to do with skincare ever since I was probably in middle school. And another fun fact, I guess this is like a side fun fact about me, is that a few years ago, I decided that I wanted to start my own skincare line. So hopefully one day I'll have my own brand and I'll be able to sell my own products and help you guys achieve your dream skin. Anyways, that's a little side note. I just wanted to like talk about my love for skincare because I truly, truly love it. And I think that's enough of my rambling for now. So let's get right into it. So as you can see, I have a full face of makeup on right now. So we're gonna take all of that off. I'm going to use the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm to do a little bit of double cleansing. So as you can see, I love using this product and I'm just gonna take a little scoop about this much, put it in the palm of my hand to go ahead and start warming it up. And then I'm just going to start going in circular motions all over my skin to start melting and breaking up all of my makeup on my face. It feels so satisfying just knowing that your makeup is just like melting right off of the skin. Also, this cleansing balm smells so good. I'm all about having skincare products that smell really fresh and like that don't like freak me out with like crazy scents because I have really sensitive skin, but this product smells super great. Once I feel like my makeup is pretty much melted at this point, I'll take just a little, little bit more and warm it back up in my hand and I'll start to massage my face. This is what I do specifically at night to just start to unwind and relax. It just feels so nice massaging the face after a long day. Literally makes me wanna like fall asleep. Look, I'm like rocking back and forth. I'm so tired. And this just like instantly relaxes me. Do not forget about the neck. You'll hear me say that a million times throughout this video, but don't forget about your neck. Look, I have makeup on my robe right now because I have makeup on my neck a little bit because I like to contour right there. So do not forget about your neck ever, your neck and your chest and the back of your hands, but we'll get into that a little later. Okay, so now that the makeup is melted off, I'm going to take a damp washcloth. I've kind of already started using the washcloth on my eyes a little bit because I had to take my contacts out, but I'm going to dampen this washcloth and then start wiping away all of the dirt and the makeup and everything. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, look at that. That's just from like a few swipes on my cheeks and my eyes. This step in my skincare routine is probably the most satisfying just because I can like literally look at my face coming off. Especially when I do a full face of makeup for the day or the night or whatever. Just seeing all of it come off and just melt off my skin with ease is just like literally the best part of my day. Okay, so the first step of my double cleansing routine is done. And now I'm going to go in with the second step and use this cleanser from Zio Skin Health. It is the gentle cleanser for all skin types. I would say my skin type is definitely sensitive and oily and acne prone. Those are like the three main things. But this cleanser, I would die for this cleanser. It just truly makes your skin feel so clean. Like it's just like squeaky clean. You guys will see. I mean, my skin will literally be like shiny. Like it'll look like leather, but in a good way, in a good way, in like the shiny way. It'll just be like tight and beautiful and just like squeaky clean. It's just amazing. this double cleansing little routine in the shower but for the sake of the video I'm doing it out of the shower I usually go for a minute to two minutes long by the way I really don't think that that matters but I heard that cleansing from one minute to two minutes is the best amount of time to do that so I don't know. Now I'm going to rinse all of this off and move on to the next step. I almost forgot to mention what I use to dry my skin with. I have these little microfiber towelettes from this brand called the, I think it's called the Clean Skin Club. I just use them to dry my face off because when you think about it, no matter how many times you clean your towel, it will always be dirty to a certain degree. And putting that dirtiness and all of those germs on your skin after you just worked so hard to cleanse it is honestly just a waste of time. Even when I get out of the shower, I will leave my face wet until I reach one of these towelettes over in my drawer or on the counter to dry my face with. And sometimes I'll even do my neck, my chest, and a little bit of my back to do so, just for fun. So once I'm done double cleansing and I feel like my skin may need a little extra love that night, I will do a face mask. And these are my two current favorite face masks to use. We have Charlotte Tilbury's Instant Magic Facial Dry Sheet Mask. It says it is expert designed and award-winning results. It hydrates, visibly smooths, brightens, lifts, and reduces the appearance of wrinkles. This honestly sounds like actual instant magic. But if I'm having other nights where I feel like my skin is just really breaking out, I have a lot of cystic acne happening, I will go in with this Eminence Acne Advanced Clarifying Mask. I mentioned this mask in my last vlog and honestly, I love this mask so much. I think I had also mentioned that I use it either as a spot treatment or as a full face mask. I absolutely love this clay mask for when I'm breaking out. And then I love this sheet mask for when I feel like my skin is a little bit dry and just not really as glowy as I want it to be. I was on a flight today, so I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury's mask tonight just to get some extra hydration going on. Part 
part about this face mask is that it's completely dry. Unlike a lot of different sheet masks that are like soaking wet in like the serum or whatever product that they have all up in the mask, this one is literally like, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's paper dry, but it hydrates my skin to the max. It's insane. Massage to activate and leave on for 15 minutes. It also says that you can reuse this mask up to three times, which is insane. I have no idea. This is true magic in a little packet. I freaking love this mask. So we are going to turn our 15 minute timer on right now and just start massaging it into the skin. Be honest you guys, do I look cute with this mask on or do I look terrifying? If I were to like open the front door right now, if someone were to like deliver something to me, I would probably like actually frighten them. On the inside of this face mask, like the side that's touching my skin, I can feel the hydration like really working. Like I can feel it. But then on the outside, when I'm touching all over it, it's completely dry. I love that they have these little ear loops that I can put around my ears to keep it up on my face because I know you guys know what I'm talking about when I say, Having a sheet mask on is kind of stressful. Like it's almost anything but relaxing. Once you put it on, you have to like go and lay down flat or like not do anything, don't move your face, don't talk, don't smile, don't laugh, nothing. Or else it'll just like slide straight off of your face. I just like love that this mask is just like sturdy. Shout out to Charlotte Tilbury because she's the GOAT. She is truly the GOAT. Time to take this mask off. It's been 15 minutes. We're just gonna de loop around my ears. Is de loop a word? I, I don't even know. But, whew, okay. Honestly, I'm speechless. I don't know how the hell Charlotte Tilbury makes this happen. It literally feels like I have, like, I don't know if you can see on my fingers. I, it's insane. It's insane. I don't know how else to explain it. I've spent months trying to curate the perfect lineup of skincare products to show you guys and recommend this is not a drill, these products. Anyways, we need to move on. So the serum that I use every night is this Shawnee Darden Retinol Reform Serum. I will do one to two pumps or three, I literally just did three pumps of this serum. I don't really like using the word rub. I feel like rub sounds a little rough. I like to like melt it into the skin, I guess. This retinol reform has absolutely changed my life. I love Shawnee Darden and I love all of her products. This retinol reform, y'all, I mean my skin, it's just changed the game for my skin. I have been using this retinol reform since I believe February or March, and it's May, and here we are. Need I say more? Hi guys, so we are back. <laughs> my battery was about to die, so I decided to hop in the shower while I let my battery kind of get some juice. I left off by using some of my retinol reform. After that, I'm going to go in with my tretinoin. So if you don't know what tretinoin is, it is a acne medication and it comes in like a cream formula. I got this from my dermatologist and I'm going to use a pea size amount and just kind of distribute it all over my face and then just kind of like blend it out with my fingers. So it's very important to not overdo it with this medication because it's very strong. You already know, if you have tretinoin, you already know what the deal is. I will just apply that to the skin, let it dry. It's super important to only apply this medication once or twice a week. Yeah, I'm gonna let this dry for about 10 minutes 
In the meantime, I'm probably gonna brush my teeth, scroll on my phone, do whatever I need to do while this dries, and then we will move on to the next step. Okay, so now that the medication is all dried and soaked into the skin, I'm going to move on to the next and almost final step of my skincare routine, and that is moisturizer. I am going to use my La Mer Moisturizing Soft Cream, is what it's called. I absolutely love this stuff it's very very pricey not only have y'all been asking me for a skincare routine but ever since i had posted about me purchasing this moisturizer i have been getting so many requests asking that i do a little review on this moisturizer honestly i love it i'm not even gonna lie I kind of go overboard on the nights where I'm using the tretinoin. And then now we are going to rub it on in. And again, don't forget about the neck. I've been hearing a lot from so many different people saying that this formula of the La Mer moisturizer is very similar, if not the exact same, to some product from Nivea. I don't know, I haven't really done my research on that, so I can't really I guess like comment on that and like give my thoughts. All I know is that I love this moisturizer, to be honest. I'm not quite sure that it'll be a repurchase necessarily, just because it's so pricey that I like, I'm not sure that I can commit to spending $400, you know, every two to three months on a new moisturizer. There are so many different moisturizers that I love just as much, such as the uh, SkinCeuticals, Shawnee Darden, Zio Skin Health. Like, there are so many other brands that have great moisturizers that I highly recommend. Now that the skin is nice and moisturized and pretty glowy, I'm going to add just another layer of moisture using the Eminence Neroli Age Corrective Hydrating Mist. I love this stuff so much. I'm actually a little bit more than halfway done with it. I use this every single night before I go to bed, multiple times if I'm really feeling myself. It's something about the scent. I feel like it's the scent and just like the way it makes my skin feels so like brand new and like I just like splash some cold water on it. I love this stuff. I know I keep saying that about all of these products, but I swear, I love this stuff. <sighs> like the smell is just so clean and beautiful. I just like, oh my gosh, it's like perfect. Okay, so now that I spritzed on a little bit of that magic, I'm gonna go in with more magic and use the Magic Eye Rescue by Charlotte Tilbury. Here's what it looks like. I'm gonna take a little bit on my ring finger and just go underneath the eyes to put little like dots. And now we are going to blend it out using my ring finger. You guys already know you're supposed to use your ring finger because it's like the most gentle finger on your hand and you wanna be super gentle underneath your eyes. Sometimes if I'm feeling a little impatient, I will drag underneath, but I really like try not to. I will drag and dab up on my eyelid. And I feel like a lot of people forget this, but you gotta take care of like your eyelids as well and like your brow bone. So I always like to blend it up and around. Okay, so the under eye cream is now on. And for the very last step in my skincare routine, we are going to use a lip mask. I love this one by Tatcha. This might be a hot take, but I honestly love this Tatcha lip mask more than the Laneige lip mask. I know, like I said, might be a hot take. I don't know. The reason why I love this a little bit more is because I like the applicator. And I also like that the lid of this jar is almost magnetic. And so when you put the applicator on top, 
it sticks and it's not gonna slide off. Also, it's not super like scented, which I really love. And of course, when I wake up in the morning, my lips are smooth and soft and wonderful. Okay, you guys, that is basically it for my nighttime skincare routine. I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. This was a very highly anticipated one. Let me know when y'all wanna see my AM skincare routine because that's a little bit different. Also, this is kind of a random thought, but I had a little video idea and I wanted to run it by you guys before I go through and film it. I have so many little skincare tools and I know I didn't include it in this video, but the reason why is because I wanted to make a whole video about all of my skincare tools. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, turn on the post notifications, comment anything really, just do it all. You know what to do. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.